Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords. All the the sights and sounds therein. You could hear the the ox over there breathing and huffing. I see we've got the that's not a burgage plot. The large storehouse under construction. Seems like we're working on this guy as well as a highest priority. Get an ox over here. But first things first, when you restart the game, any military units you had sent out just sit there waiting for you to remember them. <laughs> Your orders, my liege, as we stand here in the stream getting our ankles wet. No, they've got some pretty good boots there. Yeah, they do. Anyway, you guys were on your way to these crossroads to lay wait in this thicket. Oh, uh, yeah, something like that. Do we kick you back further? Let's do that and actually set you about in there. There you go. You guys just keep track of what's going on. Um... I don't see any reason to run them out there. Okay, so we just moved the logging camp. We're going to be getting ready to shut this guy down too. I wanted to... I don't know what it's going to do with this one log. So I was thinking about just firing this up and keeping an eye on it. And... Because they don't have much room. Oh, they don't have any room. It's probably not going to happen. They make them fives at a time and there's not room to put a five away. So they will never come back to that. Okay... What else can we use planks on real fast? Well, if we had some roofing tiles, we could uh, do something like that. There's 10 of them needed. So, need to get roofing tiles going. But I thought before we started today, I'd go ahead and kind of drop in and just take a, take a wander. We're setting up our new, uh, new area down here. And that, that new road that takes off toward our new settlement. I wanted to walk over and see that. Look at the way the firelight flickers on the, the logs over there. The log walls. Well, wow, that's lighting is so good in here. There's Tommen, I believe. Dragon. He went to go get... Oh, I see. He went to go get a log from the new logging area down here. That's what it was. So, this is the King's Road. Heading down toward... The corpse pit over there and the site of our very first battle. Somebody needs to prune this branch over here. I have to get somebody on that. And this is the new road that we threw in, as well as space for some market stalls and a new well. Right there. So I was gonna say we need to pull some bushes out of here, but I'm pretty sure that's a tree. Yeah, we're working on clearing this area and he is hard at work at it. So new well over here head up the new road that heads off to our new province and right through the woods and yep yeah, that's looking good so taming the raw wilderness mm -hmm. let's pop out of this oh we're back where we started okay so we are working on upgrading this guy nobody is here even though he is on the highest priority four families what are they all doing? I hear lots of hammering. What am I hearing? You guys are working on a burgage plot, which is also set to highest. Ah, I see. Well, where are we at anyway? May as well just let you finish. Okay. You'll go from here to there, or you'll split up, and you'll both work them. Yeah. Then we get this guy in, get another ox coming, and I guess that will kind of reset all of that. We've got four families. We need somebody working in the new clay furnace. Requires refueling. Fuel reserve. And I'm not sure. I've heard both sides of this. This means we need four down here, or this means that we won't touch the last four in town. So I'm not sure which way that is. Either way, we've got bunches and bunches, so we'll if it's five down here then we'll get five on the way but I, none of it's going to happen until we uh, throw a family in there so now we have three families left this family actually could probably pull out of there our storage is full um we're currently i assume not bringing anything to here i don't know what happens there 
If we had two families and we upgraded, do we have six instead of four? Or are there two behind the scenes still doing their job without any visual representation of it? I don't know, but we are done here? Hello, there. Yeah, that's, that's the new one. We are in July, probably halfway through. We're at 67%. Uh, negative two taxation from last time. Level increased. Oh, we just got some of the the upgrades done. The uh, the tier twos are finished, or two of them are finished. Now we got to get five of them finished if we want to get to the next point. And speaking of points, we now have a point available, and I'm going to save it until the update becomes live for everybody. Then we will probably head into these two, get our trading going. And then I'm thinking about heading down into charcoal and getting that going to assist with the uh, uh, with the mining and maybe even hit deep mining. So that's where we've already done this. We need to spend some time working on that. One, two, three, four, five. Five of our potential six. So I think for this region, that works well. We, we don't need to get into the agriculture end of it. The other region will. These two, I think the other one's going to barter into us and then we're going to trade out. But there are changes to trading coming as well. Not just how it uh, deals with those perks, but also allows you to trade within each other. Kind of a, a variant of the pack mule station. So trading from within, which as I was, I was watching the Halfwit Brits series and he was talking about that. And it essentially, if you, you say no foreign trading, so nobody outside of the map may trade with you, only your own provinces, which means that you could use that as a tool to move a chunk of your regional wealth. Wow. Oh, here we are. <laughs> that scared me the first time I did that, too. Yeah, now we have our storehouse. Oh, we're doing lots of things. Bandit camp sighted. Okay. Pause. So much is happening. Anyway, this region's numbers versus this region's numbers. So if you play this on your own and you move over and you look up and you go into an absolute panic about what how you managed to lose all of your money, well, that's not actually the thing. Now, money, we're going to need 250 to set up a starter town over here. So we do need to take out a... Yeah, zoom back in. There we are. A bandit camp. Right here. Oh, we're already there. Wow. We're already there. I was I was questioning whether or not I should run them over. But I was worried. I didn't know where the next bandit camp would pop in. And what if they were exhausted and it popped in right next to them? Well, it kind of did. They have already triggered. And they're coming at us. So we could do this anywhere. Uphills up here. <clears throat> what if we made them run up to here? Let's think about that. You guys, what if you came over... If you can get right to the crown, right to a point to where you are higher than them rather than on an even playing field like here, then I've seen a plus five um, has the high ground added to our score. So if we were to be right here, and they, they're going to still follow us, so they're going to kind of arc around and come in like this. So actually we need to be facing more of that way. So where is that spot for us? I think it's right about here. Okay. You... Right there. All right. I think they're going to arc around to that point as we move. And that'll be the point of contact. How are we doing otherwise? We are 91% soaking wet. Ah, well, they should be too. That should probably recalculate soon. Soaking wet. Uh, surrounded by trees is a negative. Fighting in the trees apparently is a disadvantage. So guerrilla warfare is just not a thing right now. So I can't, really, uh, can't really count on that, but I think it'll be fine. They're going to keep tracking toward us, which means they're going to keep curving. Yeah, we'll come back to them real soon. So that's a lot sooner than I had intended on doing another bandit battle. But 
it's going to give us the 250 we need to get in, into here. And I think it might be wise to go ahead and do just that. You're done. Let's put a, another family in there and pull even more goods in from all around the map like these. Where are you? Here? Yeah. So twice the chance of being able to unload something like that. Um, how is this happening? You're requiring refueling. And we have peoples who are on their way in with transporting firewood. Okay, that's happening. All right, so you guys do your thing. We will head over here and kind of enjoy this. Hmm. Now, they will have the negative 10 for being in the woods. We are just soaking wet. But we're climbing also. Just wondering... Is there a way to give them the negative 10 by doing the battle right here? But I think, yeah, the, the, it's such close quarters. I don't know how you could really separate that out. So that's probably not a thing. But uphill is here. And we're, where were we headed to? I wish if I clicked on them, it would continue to show the destination. It doesn't, because this already looks pretty good. It's right here. I figured they'd be coming in from here by the time we got here. There we go, into position. And he's trying to get through there, guys. Let me through. And they're going to be coming in like so. All right. Next to the future stone camp of this province. Here we go, boys. <laughs> yeah, love the voice acting in this one. And I just noticed we've got our banner with us. We've hit 12 of 12. We've, we've completed the troop in a sense. So we've got our flag. Cool. Here we go. We are coming in at balanced. Let's... Oh, that was interesting. What happened there? Let's shift... Well, I was going to stand my ground, but I don't know what to do with you now. You're kind of off on your own. Hmm. Well, let's stand your ground. Is he... Interesting. Only one has turned toward him, so he looks like he's still got a good chance. Stand your ground is going to... He's going to be more defensive. Okay. This is looking good. It would be nice to be able to route them around. It's easier to do with multiple units than just a single one. Um, one of theirs is down. Where are we at? We're at 11. They're at nine. We've actually taken a casualty. Darn. We're going to win, but hate to chip away one every time. Here we go. Mm. Okay. Well, we won. And we weren't that far away. Where were their tents? Right over here. Why don't you guys come on over here? Now that the battles are not on our own ground... We, oh, they took down our banner, too. Look at that. That is sad. Yeah. I wonder if that drops, regardless of who they took down. Not just the one who's carrying it, but that we no longer have 12 of 12. That may be a thing. But you guys do that. I guess you guys go back. And we will add one more to your numbers. Um, his troops launch toward us. And did they launch from here like I predicted? Yep. This was the closer one. So they were going to head in from their, their newer province. Now they have given up and boy, they look uh, dejected. They're, they're on their way home. Okay. You guys are... Where am I? We're in the middle now. The province that I think we may take next if we can get that up fast enough. So we need one more bandit camp. Yeah. So you guys do that and pull out and drop into here so we will have the funds to move into our new province oh look at that wow that was quick they stripped the trees out rather quickly almost scary quick okay so heading in like so and in like so berries okay so we're heading in actually over here Okay, so we need to veer that way a little bit. Let's road. Grab that. And give us a curve. Let's 
get into that clearing over there between those trees. Pop out. Right into there. And kind of curve through into that. Somehow work through that mess and come out into here. Okay. That's the pathway to the new province. Which I have not given a name yet. So it will for quite some time just be called the new province. Okay. You guys need new marching orders as far as... Oh, we're done here. A new message. Pause. We will take it to our own treasury, please. And you guys head to the manor right there and let's get you re-equipped and let's run you I don't know when the next threat's coming let's get in here get you reset and get you moving back out again all right so you guys that's what I was doing you advanced and your work area we still have all of this and I have a feeling if I just set a new work area these are gonna sit there and no longer be a thing yeah because remember last time we had trees on the ground across from there? We don't have them anymore. I think they go away every time you restart the game. And that's really unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm going to just babysit this then. Let's take you down a little tighter so we don't take any more trees out of the area. And let's concentrate on collecting these and soon I'll just shift that back a little bit. I want to kind of follow the road and... And I'd say as we go further back, we'll start narrowing that down so that at this point it's actually quite tight. There's a small opening around it. Same thing out in here. We'll keep that tight or we won't even do it at all. All right, so that gives you guys something to do. Our firewood cutters are still clearing this area. The log is no longer in the corner of our field, nor the other one out over here. Now, they either finished their job and cleaned those out... Or the game took him away but we had two over here now there's just one hmm let's tell these guys to work on that one just to kind of clean this up and for some reason these guys always come in with a huge zone of influence let's do that you guys clean that up okay stalls still have two fully functioning firewood stalls which maybe we will move one of them. Yeah, we could move one of them to here. Yeah, bad batch. That's that's yeah. Um, you people are from the warehouse. All right. So let's move you from the warehouse to here. Rotate you like so toward the uh, toward the the roadway, aiming toward housing. At this end? Yeah, let's take you a little further down, right there. So you're moving into there. You are going in at the highest priority is get you done. And other highest priorities, it was that, that, and that. So those are all done now. Good. The music just sped up. That's quite a woodwind there. All right. So you did we... Companies available. Oh, next month, August. Click on you... Livestock, zero of... Did I not order? I thought I clicked. Well, did I just imagine I clicked? Hmm. Okay, so you are on your way. Sheep is something we want to work on. We want to get our ten... How are you guys doing? We are refueled. We have four in stock. We don't have the sense of any... Oh, you guys are here already. You guys go ahead and drop. So don't, The sense of anything that's already been made. So... Right there. Nope, no roof tiles yet. So let's jump into here. And boy, the music music changed. It made it feel like the game's running at double speed. Like, like someone sped up the record player a little bit. <laughs> let's get into here. That should pause the game. And I want one more retinue. And we will give you our colors. Body type. Okay, right there. Different. Very different. They normally have this. This one has got a, a metal shield on every one of his. What just changed? I've never seen this before. All of these, none of them had that. 
helmet is, yeah, very different. He's just going to look different than the rest. Okay, we'll go with that. So if you are different from the rest, what do we want to do with that? So that's essentially what we've been using right there. Yeah, you're the, you're the new guy. <laughs> you're on loan from somebody else. There's 200 left. 200 left. Oh, I just bought 50. Ah, okay, so we're waiting for one more battle. Two, because we, we've got to maintain our retinue. Okay. So, or did I click the wrong one? That's recruitment of arms. It is. And recruitment drills. Promote one of your citizens. Oh. We gotta play with that someday. Oh, locked in early access. Okay, we haven't got there yet. Well, we'll just let it run. I have my 12 again. Let's send you guys to back to the original plan and just see how how that goes. Um, 900. I want you. Where am I? Wasn't it here? Okay, there's the spot. Yeah, send you guys. You know. Oh, I have to rally you. That's right. Rally. Pull back into our territory. Where are you? Am I not there yet? There you are. Rally. Once that happens, then... Yeah, there we are. Okay. Uh, settlers have joined us. You guys are going to head into this area, and we'll see if you, uh, if you get there this time. All right. Working on one of the last of our construction projects. Firewood stall just finished. We moved that one over to there. Oh, we're still finishing it. No. That one's being worked on. What just... Another one popped in over here. Guys, can we... Oh, it's clothing. And, and clothing? Wait a minute here. Now, firewood and clothing. Oh, good. And so that would be the second family from here. Representing clothing now instead of firewood. Perfect. I was hoping they would do that. Clothing over here. Um, your food. Your food. Over here. Got three of them going. Firewood. Food. And firewood. So we are well represented from firewood now. Let's grab a market space and just pin you. And so yeah I think... With that last change, this last red is going to vanish here any moment now. 95%. Food variety we've got to start working on. That will be oh, a number of things. We'll get, uh, well, we have plenty of eggs in the system now. we get berries, meat, and bread, but not enough for everyone. So we got to up our meat and we got to up our bread. Berries, that's right. Last time that was actually kind of odd. We, I, I was watching as I was, as I was editing, and we were at 63 of 64 in June. I threw one more family in, and we went down to zero of 64 just like that with, by the time we hit July. So in one month, something changed here. And I don't believe an extra family can wipe out that. So something else is at play here. This, These should remain on the, the bushes until snow hits. And we're actually representing them still with berries. So the berry area claims, or looks like there's berries. We are 0 of 64. So I'm not sure what happened there. That feels a little buggy to me. It should have just kept going down and kept going down until there's just a few of, but not in one month. You, generic storage is full. So we've got two saw pits and a... Generic storage is full. Hmm. Anyway, you are exposed goods, which means the firewood is still sitting on the ground. Or so yeah, there's two firewood kind of buried in the dirt right there. So that's going to stay there till it figures that out. Question mark. Work area is empty. Yeah, but I've left the family in here anyway for the herbs, which we are processing herbs in the system. Where would that be? It would be under crafting, crops, commodities, one herb in the system. Building materials, one roofing tile. So we are up and running over here. You, one is sitting there. Uh, family members are transporting, transporting, crafting. So crafting, there's one represented in here. 
Here you are. And you are pretending really hard to be doing something. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you go for it. And the other ones are probably bringing more clay over. Clay... Clay should be in the pit. I don't know if any of it made it to storage. So where are they transporting from? Right there. Uh, that was quite a noise. Yeah, you just brought some clay over and you're dropping the tiles off. Ah, that's rather interesting. You're going to come over here and pretend that you're working now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so that leaves two in the system now. And that last noise, construction finish, burgers plot. I think the, I think the noise was this. Yeah. That's, that's an impressive uh, announcement. What was that? Oh, I thought I was seeing mushrooms right in there. I've been playing clan folk off and on, and their mushrooms would be under the trees and about that size, too. So that's what it reminded me of. So we're sitting at 900 influence. We're sitting at 200 coins. And we need more food variety. Firewood is now satisfied. Food variety, food variety, food variety. So bread will help out, a meat will help out. And then clothing. So these guys are our tier twos and they now require more. Great, let's pop into that and take a look. So they are gonna require a tavern now. They need ale to be happy. They need the better quality church at least a small stone church, which means that we may well have a medium or large stone church in our future, representing right now. So there will be a, a tier four at some point, which is probably another tick, maybe a cathedral or something. Um, fuels the same, food is the same. They need two types of, three types of food now in order to be happy. And they need clothing supplies. One of them that is linen, leather, or yarn. One of them that is shoes, clothes, or cloaks. So now we're going to get a little more complicated. Um, it would be nice to get a few more. We need five. We have four. So that's going to give us two points in storage once we get our, our next tier two. To be able to, to jump into these two when, uh, uh, when the update hits. And maybe we'll have a third point by then too. And we'll really see the game progress quickly. So... It was suggested in the comments. I was thinking of the tailor for this two house lot that the, let's see, which one was it? The tailor, no, yeah, the tailor. What was the other one? Bakery, blacksmith, I've already lost it. The brewery is the one that could use some extra help too. And try to keep, keep up with the ale needs for the tavern for a town though at this point the town will not have much need it will ramp up as you get much bigger so long term we would probably have to add an additional brewer to keep up or we just get there ahead of time by making you the brewer right now but we don't have the the barley in town to even think about it we do have the i almost hit the wrong one we do have the no, actually, I think I was thinking of the brewer. Oh, in my practice game, I think it was the brewery that 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 uh, I had had two families in, and they still weren't uh, keeping up. So, or they 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 were staying busy the whole time. They weren't they weren't backlogged. So I know I don't want the joiner in there. I did that once, and they were eating me out of house and home of planks, but making shields. So that will be a single. Let's load up the singles right now. And let's get, oh, uh, two more singles going. So you will be an upgrade to level two. And you will be an upgrade to level two. Okay. Then let's get these three up and going. We need, now there's no point in jumping into this before we have the supplies and the ability to do it. Fletchers would be good. It takes four planks to upgrade these guys, but bows are a great way to come up with a trading uh, product. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, each time we do that, we're going to lose a family. So keep that in mind. But there's something that we can start building up, and as soon as the update hits, if we have 20 bows in stock, we could immediately set up our own... Um, uh, archer troop which would be beneficial um, what else do we need right at this moment so we don't have any iron coming in so that's not a thing yet 
we actually don't have any any uh, linen yet. We do have leather. So that makes sense. Set up a cobbler. Let's stop at these two. But let's go ahead and continue looking at uh, options. So a bakery extension, we need to do a point up here for that. Uh, blacksmith eventually when we get our iron working up and going. We don't even have the tavern yet, though we can start working on that this episode. Okay. Uh, shields would be good. Yeah, shields would be good. Do we take the plunge on all of these? At, you know, this quickly. We're not bringing in two families per month right now. But we've got everything pretty much manned at the moment. With the exception of needing uh, folks to harvest this this field over here. Which really won't take much. It's only one field. One family could handle that. Let's get you going as well. So just to verify. You in fact were the Fletcher. You are the Cobbler. You, I wish I'd swap the two. But you will be the, the Joiner. Okay, so representing this one, this one, this one, these three. Got it. Fletcher shop is done. And general. Refueled. And generic storage pantry. People, they are boyers. And they're transporting, I assume they're transporting planks, which means we're about to empty out our plank supply. And residential. Their needs and what they have in stock. You guys... Oh, you automatically default to highest. That's why. Very high. Eh, highest. We're going to do both of you that way. All right, so we'll come back to those. Um, tiles, eight. We're almost ready to upgrade the church, too, with our one working family next. Yeah, or left. So did we pull everybody out of here? We did, right? We did. And berries are still 0 64. So berries are not going to be a thing. So we need to think about selling off those berries. Yeah, cautiously and let's take you up to 60 at that point it won't be till next spring that we start seeing more berries but we're not going to grow that much between now and then i don't think one per month is what we're at at the moment and i haven't seen until we get more variety we uh, or maybe maybe the church and the tavern so let's think about moving this guy and there is no move, so let's think about rebuilding this guy. So where do we want the tavern or the, the, the tanner long term? We're pulling out of here. He could just be a little deeper in. He could. He could be right there. Yeah. So let's grab a new tanner. That is what? Industry? Uh, trade, industry, leather, tannery. Yep. You're in here. And I'd say that spot's perfect right there. All right, so once we get the message, assuming I notice it, that that's done, then we'll transfer the family and, and delete that and let them gradually move the supplies out of there. Uh, we should be there, right? Ten roofing tiles, click away. Nine. All right, so where are our troops? They're in place and just sitting here. So what does sitting here mean? It means our fatigue is... Oh, you probably ran, didn't you? Yeah, no? You're not triggered, but we'll do that. Your fatigue is gradually going away. Recent losses, so they're feeling the loss of their uh, of their teammate there. Surrounded by trees. Experience, though. That's good. And, yeah, the fatigue is, is slowly going away. Joiner shop is done. So you guys just camp out over here. And we will meet up with you soon. So swing them back over here. Our cobbler shop is going to make well I was going to make shoes and I guess since there's no choice of what to make let me pause for a moment then it doesn't need to tell you what it's going to cost to make the thing I guess that's what's going on whereas over here our joiner shop we have a choice we could make small shields at one we could make large shields at two Planks. And that was my error from an episode or two ago. When you go to build the the boyer to make those shields, and the shields are what my eyes see because it's red, I, my, I thought it takes, you can see the four planks up there. It takes four planks to make a shield. That's where that misinformation came from. But in reality, we get to choose. We can take two planks to make a large shield, which is what we're using. I 
want to say it gives you better defense. It makes sense to me. So we will make large shields. I don't think there's any reason for wooden parts. But two planks makes a wooden part is probably something to sell in the trader. But let's do this. And that will continue to ramp up our... Um, our own shields over there we could trade in possibly the spears so we can continue to build our own troops or we could concentrate on something else you know like getting iron in so okay we made the choice we don't have to pause anymore I didn't want them building whatever it defaulted to so we're gonna make these we're gonna eventually sell them we're gonna make bows we're gonna use some of them and eventually sell the rest we're going to turn our leather Though we have to be careful not to turn too much leather into shoes. Because these guys over here, they need, where is it, clothing. They need one of those choices too. Now, sheep we've got to get working on. Linen will be coming in when we get trading going. And we'll start bringing in flax and sending it through a weaver's hut. Or weaver's something and start turning that into linen then we'll satisfy our number ones again so if we turn all the leather into it and we're not doing a lot of hunting so we're almost relying on goats right now for for our leather you are right there so in stock is one more hide what do we actually have going on here so we have five hides we have 64 leather that's why i didn't want to sell that leather in the tan in the uh, trade trader I wanted to hang on to that because our cobbler is going to eat through that actually fairly quickly. Most of that should be sitting right over here. So we've got our planks over here, we've got our leather over here, which means these families are going to draw all the goods in, and then these artisans are just going to walk down the road and grab what they need and go back home and do it. So that was probably a good choice to leave that there rather than send it off somewhere out of the town. I think so. So these guys are hard at work over here. We're we're loading up our tiles. We've got 11 roof tiles. And let's go get the church started. Uh, Project-wise, we've got two houses we're rebuilding. Otherwise, we've got... Oh, what have we got going over here? We have the windmill over here, which is a medium construction. So, yeah, the next family that comes in... Hmm, next family that comes in goes into here. Where is this at? We are halfway through... Our harvest 30 actually just 38 percent not harvest growth so we're at a yield of 20 so far eight days till it's harvest season that means eight days until september we still have september october and november to do the harvesting as well as plowing and sowing crops for the next year which is what makes me think there is such a thing as a winter wheat or a winter crop planted in the in the fall and it'll be there coming up in the spring. I want to go ahead and let them do that and see if that is true or not. I've seen mixed results or mixed reviews of that. Of them going right back out in the spring, plowing it back up again and putting seeds in it looked like. So I want to try that for myself and see what they actually do. But I need a family for that. I probably shouldn't have grabbed all three of these so quickly. But yeah, so families are a thing. We could for a while pull somebody out of here. Yeah, we could do that. But this would be nice to get going. Now yeah, kick you up a little bit. What else is truly important? You are a medium getting a, another plot built. You are a medium as well. Let's get this up and going. We'll make you a very high. And just so we can get that scene. You are empty. So what does it take to build you? Saw pit is here. Takes two logs. And there's one in there. I wonder if it's going to give us back three logs if I were to delete you. Demolish. We have three logs sitting there. Perfect. I didn't have to wait for that one to, to be used up. Now we've got a lot of logs just kind of sitting around. There's still 19 over here. They've only used two since last time. So a lot of logs stored in the system. Um, 33 available, but several are still committed to, to projects. You guys are over here sitting on three, and I needed to adjust your your focus here. So let's grab advanced and limit work area two. So we're, we haven't actually done much. We're just hauling these things in. So let's haul in those, and let's set you guys... How best? 
I guess it's from here. Livestock advanced. There we go. Let's put... Now, I can only do one? I think I can only do one. All right. But I will... We still do not have... What am I missing here? That's twice I have clicked that. And nothing's happened. Is it because we're running slow and they just haven't come? Or is it filling up other spaces first? It might be auto-filling. Uh, it's auto-filling other spaces. Will you look at that? Oh, that's frustrating. So if I want to get another horse over here, I have to do it now. Because it's it's not letting me put them in the one that I've chosen. Well, that is a little frustrating. Okay. Well, the, the one of two trade available in two days. Okay. So do we have... And it may very well be that he's just walked right past me when I wasn't looking for him. Did that two episodes ago with the horse. But trader's available in two days. Does that mean he's... That's when he will have walked the last ox into place? Or... Yeah. Uh, I love the horse Winnie. Every time I click on that. That means we are that much closer to rolling into September. That's going to happen any time now. And that means uh, nope, one more day. That we're about to start thinking about this again. Now we have three months to do it. We could let this go into like 50, 60 percent. We got in here really late, so it's not going to get to 100 percent on our on our growth. But we'll go in far enough so that one family, maybe two, maybe we'll give up on construction for a little bit bring them both in and do the harvesting and then set one family loose to uh, to uh, sow the field. You are ready right there. Let's bring another horse in over here. 30. Yeah, it leaves us with 99. All right, and we're still August, so September's about to roll in. You're going to have two horses over in here. I wanted three or four. I wanted the, the max, you know, four horses per. So now that I know what the game is doing as far as placing animals, we can then put two ox oxen into this next that's the last spaces then we can build yet one more stable over here and get two more horses over in here so this is just going to be the the stable yard we will yeah that's right we, we don't have fences yet It'd be nice to fence this off in a little opening and though we could you open into you know you op nope none of you do they're all backwards we just rolled over we have, we have an opening here we have openings back here let's road Here's our church. Into here. And into here. And like so. Build you. And from here. Like so. Alright. So now we can more easily get out in and out. And we'll pop another one. Maybe right in here somewhere. So did they get that other log? focus the foresters into here and it looks like they did the job which means they may be running out of things to cut because I really focused them down the family moving in tie this pay treasury uh, changed mercenary companies looks like we're okay can I get into there harvest season has started so all right everything is doing what it's supposed to do you are now going to cut where so right there We've done all this. We do have a couple trees down. And do I want to save any more? We got trees down over here too. So let's send them in to clean up these trees. And let's see. Another settlement point. Okay. So if we do this development point. Yeah, we'll save a few of those trees this way. But we will also go clean up all the ones that have already been dropped. All right, um, development points. So we're just going to bank that one until we're ready to spend all of them. I want to see the focus point of their work area. There we go. Now we still got the same logs in there. I want you guys to get these logs out of here before we uh, uh, before we end the episode, so I don't lose them. In case that is actually a thing. So you're there, and we'll just keep clicking. All right. So I'm not sure what's really happening there. We have three families in this. We have lots of folks. Let's look at this. So you're running an ox. You're going home. Maybe you were chopping. 
You're going home. Okay. So they finished their shift. You're going to work? Yeah, you're going to go fell a tree. You are felling a tree. Felling a tree. Good. You are going home. And I expected some of these, but maybe they don't work in those places. Over here you do. No. I thought maybe some of them have gone home to work in their gardens or something, but they don't actually live in a place like that. Whereas these guys, people. So we've got guiding an ox, peddling, harvesting. Harvesting's probably right there. Going home, transporting, and peddling. So, but no booths. So we've, we've seen this before with the chicken, chicken man. So peddling means you are running a booth, even though you're not registered in that that icon there as a booth or a stall like oh these something just happened there uh or these these symbols right here okay exposed stocks is the same firewood that's never going to be picked up so eventually that'll it'll just rot away i hate to set this guy to upgrade without enough families to really do the job and get it done because there's other projects that I want to get done that much sooner highest let's get you going we've got the yeah we've got the extra point that just might be something for next episode I think so let's get these other building projects done I also want to set a few uh, uh, burgage plots out over here and get to working on this we never got our two 50 to get over there so I guess that's next episode and this pathway through here through the spooky woods and we could eventually go through and delete some of the, the brush right along the pathway so it looks a little more realistic but I think we'll let the loggers get in here and do some clearing first before we do that all right so these guys are still sitting out over here where's here Oh, there we are, looking for that red star. And any negative effect of being here? Surrounded by trees is it. Our cohesion is good, we have no fatigue. There's no sense of hunger in this game in that regard, at least in regard to the, uh, to the soldiers that I've seen. So I guess they just sit there and wait for the next bandit camp to pop in nearby. So these guys never get a chance to get there, and we'll just rob them of, of all the influence for a while and all the extra coins. I kind of like that plan. Yep, a little greedy, but yeah, that's what you got to be to back in these times to stay alive. Policies available. Yeah, I did see that while I was editing last time. Um, policies. This pops in because we now have a manor and we could pick policies but i've never liked any of the policies so wild animals and rich deposits on rich deposits breed twice as fast we don't have a rich deposit at the cost of 50 percent reduced yield to crops well, we're gonna have a hard time getting any crops at all last thing i want to do is cut that even that in half so i don't see that as any benefit and your rich uh, deposits on wild animals you already have twice as much so you know, let's, I don't know. Don't really care for that one. And citizens skip every fifth meal, but it reduces your, your approval rating. There's no benefit to doing that either. These guys are locked, and these are all locked as well. Why these are yellow and these aren't, I don't know. But, yeah, so I've just kind of ignored the, the policies because I don't see any point in using any of them. So let's check in on the crops. And we are now at 44%. Let's get at least a 50. Or we let's get to October. Maybe that's the route to go. Let them continue building. Are we in here? We are. We're almost done. Did the other horse show up? Small stable. We're not using the horse right now. Two of two livestock. So we have Peter. And over in here, livestock. We have none. One's out and one hasn't arrived yet. And then over in here, livestock. Ah, we got Tom and... Dits who are out okay so if you're out then what does this represent livestock hmm I can't answer that I'm guessing one horse hasn't made it yet but what's the other space if when they're out of the stable they're still is there one that can be connected to like the saw pit which we're not doing this time 
And I just heard a noise. I gotta look at that livestock. Yeah, we're not we're not locking one into here because he's so close to here. These we have. Livestock. Enders is associated with this one. We can't give him a second one, unfortunately. But that should. And everybody else of the other logging families, and even these families, if there's no construction going on, they'll just grab an ox and go pull logs out of the woods for these guys. Or they'll come over and grab a log and drop it off over here for them. So these guys are more than just builders. They also just kind of maintain other activities around the, around the town. So you are in. We don't need you yet. So when I was doing my practice game, I, 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 I spent I don't know how long trying to get this thing to work. <laughs> it drove me nuts. That game was broken. And then I realized there has to be somebody in here to thresh the wheat that I was bringing in from the trader. So it was never even getting to the farmhouse because it was just sitting there and not going anywhere. So you family farmhouse th grabs wheat, threshes it. And then either someone from the granary goes to grab the grain, no longer wheat, but grain, and brings it to here, which I have been advised to go through and shut down the wheat and shut down the grain so that it will not be drug over to here, but it will just remain here. And then these guys will wander through and pick them up and bring them back. Now, that means they're going to travel to here instead of travel to there. So you get away that. If this was next to this, it would be beneficial to let these guys do all the walking and just let them do their work. But we're kind of the same distance, so we'll let that one happen. So we're still talking about barriers over here, and it's still zero. So I'm guess well, I can't even guess that. That if it ever hits zero, it doesn't return until next season. But it couldn't have hit zero by adding one family when it was mostly full the month before. So I, I just don't know what to make of that. You are still complaining about this. Though we are not we do not have a generic storage problem. So that's got to be a a a buggy issue that's being worked out. Okay. Click, 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 click. There's two of them, but it's not letting me see what the other one is. And exposed goods are still there. So all of our messages are fine. So we're not going to build this yet. I think that's next time. I think it is. Is there... There's no form of an upgrade on this guy, right? No, we're just open up, open up the, kennel, the castle planner and put more of this out. But putting out the fencing would use a lot of our planks. And that's the reason I didn't do it. Close. I want those planks to make war bows right in here. So where are we at so far? War bows. We've already made 13 war bows. We haven't made any more large shields because we may be outfitting our, our, uh, our own spear dudes. I wonder if we are. So how best to see that? Because once they go into people's houses, they no longer show here. So if I were to click here, hmm, here, there we go. So we've got 29 out of 36 shields in the system. And I guess they're already being dropped. Oh, somebody wasn't happy. Being dropped into uh, various houses. And when we clear 36, then we will once again start building up our, our storage. That must be it. Okay, who just gave me the... Who just booed me? You are having trouble because of firewood. Now, we haven't really added much more. So what happened to firewood? We took the one away from here and moved them down to here. And nobody came to actually man it. Oh. I moved the stall. And apparently these guys set up two other stalls. You moved firewood over there. So while it was being moved, they just automatically went and built their own stall. I said, heck with that. I see. Interesting. So you are... So it's, it's warning us that our market stall... Well, we don't really have a, uh, a fuel. Church level plus one. Clothing market supply. So there isn't a fuel influence in here we're just going to 
anger and somehow the people who man still managed to get it. Let's take a peek at it from another way. From here and fuel. So there's either there's not enough to really not enough capacity. So you can see down there, firewood twenty. How many do we have? We have twenty two. We have twenty homes. Because this, I don't know if this, this does count as a home. Oh, and we're also using firewood to run things like this. We're fueling this guy up and other places like that. Uh-huh. Now, we did set up a market area down here. Nobody has taken advantage of that yet. No. And logs down here are doing what at the moment? Where are you guys? Right there. Advanced. I... I'm starting to wonder what's happening here. Are they ever going to pick these up? What if we really thin it down to just this? So I'm going to be shutting this down soon, and I don't want to lose those. Stop taking out new trees. Just haul those. Am I paused? No, we're running. It's just no activity over here. You guys are not doing a thing. So we could get another firewood camp in here. We could do that. They don't haul logs, unfortunately. They go to the woods to do their chopping. So telling these guys right here to go and... Where are you? Right there. To go and help clean out those logs would be foolish because they're going to take forever to get over, over there. And they may not even deal with logs. They may only work on chopped down trees on this guy. If that's what that is. So, yeah. But firewood in this area would be wise. So, because this one was really just here to clear this out. And they are effectively doing that. They have one or two trees left floating around, and I'm going to shut them down right there and there. So, you guys are doing just that. We have those folks. We need a new firewood place. And what was the other building we moved? We moved the tannery. So, let's get that going, too. You just finished your job there. Dropped it off. Let's stop okay no more hides in place you're no longer jumping into the next thing you are transporting roofing tiles cool that must she must be a yeah, warehouse worker so she's going to go get those roofing tiles i want you to no longer be here but i want you to not lose that stall so if i am paused when this happens who are you you are we could do this a different way uh your home is over here Okay, and that's a... No. Home? Wait a minute. Do that again. Okay, let's do it this way. Home. There we are. So if you can't figure out which one is focusing on, spin around a little bit and let it continue to, to, uh, to hone in on it. So you guys, we could say work here. Question is, will they take over, turn it on, that booth doesn't show that they will. So the booth must not be associated with the family so much as is associated with the building. Now, if I delete the building, demolish, does this immediately take over their booth? It does not. So we're going to have an abandoned booth here somewhere. Can we destroy booths? We can. So we can give this space back. Or we can just wait and see if somebody ever picks it up and uses it that's possible we by putting what I was trying to do but didn't get to it a firewood woodcutters lodge in this area I don't normally do this I normally give them their area and these guys their area it makes more sense but they could help each other clear spaces so there is the advantage of tag teaming here um, and this will get them close enough to town, though it's a lot of walking. Now, eventually these guys are going to log this area. We do have areas in here to log, too. It's going to be a while before the two of them manage to wipe everything out. So, yeah, let's put you guys in here. Put you in a little bit deeper. Make it look a little more rustic. I think so. Uh, uproot one right in there there okay you're there and let's give you a road while i'm thinking about it follow the contour lines now eh, we'll sneak in and around these bushes here and do we tie you into this 
Nah, if roads running parallel don't make much sense. Okay, but you most likely, though most likely you would be heading kind of out into the woods here. Let's do... Actually, no. It's not a fenced area. We don't need to do that. We just grab from here and just kind of drift you into the woods that way. Yeah. All right. So we've never connected you. It's not an issue. They, you know, the, the, the ox will go a little bit slower for that little path there. But I think I like it looking, uh, looking natural there. So what else has to be done this episode? Because I feel like I'm getting into that. Yeah, I am there. Okay, so retinue's out there waiting. Next time, if I think of it, let's play with sheep. We're in September. Let's, let's work on this. Work on getting that up and running. You're going to finish your job and be cleared out. Uh, so we have sheep to be working on. We've got to upgrade the church. And we will most likely have the funds next time to drop a starter village in. And maybe just set up their initial buildings to start building. They're going to pop in with five families and and uh, have to start from scratch. Just like we did when we first started this, this series. So it would be a lot of deja vu moments. But with that, I think I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.